welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to present this pony inspired glitter makeup. So just keep watching. First of all, I go in with this Fit Me Matte Plus Polish Foundation from Maybelline. Just spread all the foundation over my face. And I'm going to blend the foundation using the sponge from Daiso. To forget my neck, because neck is the second phase of every girl. Then use Fit Me Concealer in black shade to conceal my dark eye circle and also my acne and dull area. Now using the same sponge to blend all the concealer. I'm using Colourpop No Filter Concealer in 15 to conceal my waterline and then some darker acne spot and then just press with the sponge rather than spread it out then using my favorite brow palette from Maybelline in dark brown to do my brow firstly to put on the wax and then use an angle brush to outline my eyebrow Next, use a brush to comb my eyebrow. To set my under eye, I'm using this high definition powder from Makeup Forever and then using F35 from Sigma to bring it over the area that I want to set. Now it's eye time. I'm using this blend palette from Etude House. I'm going in with this beige color as base. And then going in with another palette with this peachy beige color as an added layer to the base. For transition color, I'm going in with this red red color and then slowly build in. For Asian eye, I recommend to just build the transition area to slightly lower and closer to the eyelid. Then use the same color to blend over the water lash line. Then use this shiny peachy shade put it at the center of the eyelid. Using the same shade again, brush it over the water lash line then use a blending brush to blend all the color to make it smooth I'm going in with this milk chocolate solade from Too Faced to contour my nose now you can see the difference with and without those shading Because my camera battery died halfway, so I've completed half of my face. Now I'm using Tony Moly liner to complete my eyeliner. And I like to use this to draw the tail of my liner. Then I'm using curler to curl my lashes. Using sharp, so simple waterproof pencil liner from Clio to draw my inner liner. Yes, I picked that brown color for my eyeliner. Next, I'm going in with this big magnifies mascara from 1028. It's a Taiwan brand. It contributes volume to my lashes. Then, using this hyper sharp liner from Maybelline to create a falsy like fake under lash. Whole eye look is complete. Go in with this Play 101 stick in 11 to contour my face 
It is creamy in texture so I need to use a sponge to blend in. Next, I'm using this Colorwheel Amazonia Clay Blush Palette from Tarte to create the main character of this look. Firstly, I'm using Concept to create the base color for the blush and then I'm using Icon as the second color. Then I'm using Surreal, this bright pink color. Bring the bright pink closer to my eye and then to my cheekbone to create a very cute effect. Whenever you feel the color is too concentrated, just use a clean brush to blend it. Next is highlight time. I'm using the Shimmer Highlight Powder from MUA Makeup Academy. It has a pink undertone, so it is very suitable for this look. Look at that! Wow! Then use my F35 to blend all the highlight powder. Not to forget the brow bone. And then inner corner. Can you see it? Wow! The hue is so pretty. As well as cupid bone and my nose bridge. Moving on, I'm going to create some glitter effect. The glue I'm using is the falsies glue. And at first, I place two heart shapes. One underneath my eyes and then one over my brow bone. Like this. Now the concept is just to spread evenly the dot, little dot. Then just follow imagination to spread all dots around. I'm going to place a moon over there and then a big star. Now it's the moon and star is done. I'm going to put another star on that and the rest will be the little dots. By the way, I got these stars, moons, hearts and little dots and the tiny little stuff from Daiso. It is quite cheap, so just check it out. Ta-da! And then with my eyes. For the leaves, I'm using this Modern Rose Matte Matte Thin from Creo as the base. And then I'm going in with this No Better Velvet Lip Tint from 3CE. I want to create soft burgundy lip. And lastly, Near and Dear Velvet Lip Tint from 3CE to create a lighter outline of my lips. Blend all the colors using my finger. Then use the cotton bud to smush the outline. And I'm done! Thank you for watching. I hope you will like it. I will link all the products now below the description box. Check out my Instagram and Facebook page. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye! Hãy subscribe